Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a, oh, actually a very long time, well not a very long time, about I think over a month since I posted my last um, Lumi Rumi tutorial um, and I really apologize for that. I've just been so busy with the ending of school and then summer starting and I've just been really caught up and busy. So here I am finally doing a Lumi Rumi tutorial on this butterfly design just literally this morning and I really wanted to share with you guys um, how to make it. So let's get into it. So I have a pattern written down on a piece of paper. I'll get that out soon. Um, let's get to what we're gonna be needing though. So I'm gonna be using my two millimeter crochet hook. You can also use a rainbow loom hook. Um, either works fine. Um, you'll need a stitch marker or C-clip. I'm just gonna use a C-clip because I've actually lost all my stitch markers. I, for some reason, I'm like I'm honestly surprised I lost all of them, but I'm also at the same time not surprised because they are ridiculously small and easy to lose. But oh well. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna need two five millimeter safety eyes or smaller, bigger. It's I guess it's whatever you want to do. But these I use five millimeter safety eyes, and I like how it looks. So you need um some white bands. Um, or whatever color for the like body part and then the wings so for the wings I'm going to use this kind of mixture of like dark purple light purple and white and for the body I'm going to use just white um, but you can see that doing different like colors and like different kind of color tone things looks very diverse but really pretty I like how they looked so yeah so um get everything you'll be needing i will have um i will try to have the bank count in the description below if i remember to do that and i will also try to put the pattern in the description below um but i will have the pattern written on a piece of paper let me just grab that all right so if you want to go ahead just go ahead and screenshot this paper right now so that you can have this the pattern saved um, and then I will be explaining how to do everything else in the video, um, so that it makes a little bit more sense, because my notes are kind of not the best, but, yeah. So, we are going to start off with the body or the antennas. Um, I think we're going to do the antennas first, just because they're really easy to make, and then we'll get on with the body. So, for the antennas, you're going to take a band, wrap it around your hook once. This should look like kind of figure eight. Um, and then you're going to take both loops and then wrap it over again itself and it should look like this and it should look like four loops around your hook take another band wrap it on your hook once and then take it and pull through the cat band and reclaim onto the hook and it should look like this take one last band and you're just going to pull it through everything on your hook. And then we're just going to go ahead and put this to the side. This is our first antenna. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing for the next one. So take a band, wrap it around your hook once. Take both loops, wrap it around again. This is our cat band. Take another white band, wrap it around once. And then pull through the cat band, reclaim. And then take another white and pull through everything. And now we can put this to the side. So you should have two antennas. And now we're gonna get started on the body. So for the body, we're gonna start off with a magic ring of six stitches. So triple loop a band around your hook. And then take one band, pull it through, reclaim. And you're going to take the front band and pull it through the back band, like that. Now you're going to stick your um, hook through all three of those loops of the cat band. Take another white band, pull it through, reclaim onto your hook, and pull the front band um, underneath the back two bands. So... Like that. And you're going to repeat that until you have six stitches around your magic ring okay. 
just like that. And you're gonna repeat that again. Okay, sorry if I like pause the video a little bit. It's kind of loud in the background. So um, you should have six stitches around your magic ring now. So one, two, three, four, five, and the one around your hook is six. Go ahead, take your little C-clip or stitch marker, put it on the band around your hook. And now we're gonna get started with our next row. So for the next 10 rows, we're gonna do just a single crochet into every single stitch around. And I'm gonna stay with you for the first, I think two, and then I'm gonna go do the rest on my own. But just put a single crochet into every single um, stitch around. Okay, so I have one row. I'm going to do one more row of single crochets on camera. Okay, go ahead, take your stitch marker off, move it to the banner on your hook. Um, so I have two rows um, of single crochet done. I'm gonna go ahead and do eight more off camera. You can go ahead and pause the video and I will be back when I have 10 rows of single crochet um, done. All right, so once you are done with 10 rows of single crochet total, um, you should um, have still six stitches around and for the next row, we're going to just decrease into every single stitch around, and then we're going to tie off. So I actually don't need this stitch marker anymore. So just go and take that off. And now we're just going to decrease to the first stitch. So grab the front loop of the first stitch and the back loop of the back stitch, and then pull a band through. And we're going to repeat that into every single stitch until we have done left. And it shouldn't be too long just because there's only six stitches so once you don't have any left go into the very last stitch that you can really see and just pull a band through everything on your hook reclaim and pull the front band through the back band and just pull it tight to make a nice slip knot and now we're going to tuck this front band or this band just into the body just go in with your hook and then pull it through. And if you have to go in again, just tuck it in so that it's not really noticeable. Just like that. And now you should have the body. We don't need any more white, so you can go ahead and put this color away. And now we're going to just attach the antennas and then we'll start working on the wings. So for the antennas, you're just gonna go into like top of the head like that and then pull a side of them through grab the other side and you're just going to slip knot them on and then tuck it into the body just like that and go ahead and repeat the same thing for the other one but like on the other side of the head Sorry my nose is so runny. It's very humid where we are, um, which is kind of different. And my nose is kind of like stuffy, if that makes any sense. So, um, I'm not sick, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what it should look like. We're just gonna go ahead and put this to the side and now we're gonna start working on the wings. So I'm gonna grab this color. 
I don't, know, I don't know if this is like actually like Rainbow Loom brand brands or not. I think I ordered these from Amazon. Um, and it just came like with this kind of color mix. So yeah, but for the wings, we are going to make a magic ring of six stitches. Also, we will, well, you don't really need the stitch marker. I'm not gonna use one, but if you want to, just to make sure that you have the right amount of stitches, go ahead and use this. Um, but I'm not gonna do that just cause I trust myself. All right, so we're gonna start off with wrapping a band around our hook twice to have it triple looped. And this is our cat band. Now we're going to pull a band through Reclaim, pull the front band um, underneath the back one, and now we're going to go into the three loops in the center, like that, pull another band through, reclaim the other side, pull the front one underneath the back two, and just go ahead and repeat that until we have six stitches around our magic ring. Okay, so now we have to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now for the next row, you can go ahead and put the stitch marker on the band around your hook if you feel like you need to do that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do my row because I know how to do it. So you're just gonna do increases into every single stitch. So put a single crochet and then go back into that same stitch again and do another single crochet. That is an increase, we're going to do that every single stitch. So increase the next stitch. Increase the next stitch. And just increase all the way around. And it should look like this. So you're gonna go, so we're gonna count, we should have 12 stitches around our hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and this one is 12. So you're gonna go into the next stitch now. You don't need the stitch marker anymore, you can take it off. Pull one band through everything on your hook, just like this. And now we can go ahead, just put this to the side. We're gonna make that um, three more times. So you should make four of these. I'm gonna stay on camera and make one more with you guys. And then the other two I'll just make off camera and then I'll show you how to attach them to the body. So go ahead and make another magic ring of six stitches. I'm not gonna show you how to make it again just cause I've already showed you like two times. So make a magic ring of six stitches. Okay, it should look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and put increases into every single stitch around, and then we should have 12 stitches around our magic, or around our circle. Heck, okay, hold on. All right. Okay, and now the last stitch. Still increase. Okay, you can go ahead and remove the stitch marker from your hook. Take a band and just pull it through everything on your hook, like that. 
and go ahead and put that to side. So I have two, you're gonna make two more off camera, or I'm gonna make two more off camera. You can go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back when I have all four of my wings done and then I can show you how to put them onto the body and yeah. All right, so I have my four wings done. I'm gonna leave these bands out still just because um, we will be needing some later. I'll show you why. Um, but we're going to now attach them. So I guess find wherever you kind of want to place the first ones. I kind of like place the first ones kind of right here. So just go ahead, put your hook through the stitch and then pull the band through and you're just going to slip knot it on and then yeah like that and then you go ahead and do that basically the same spot but on the other side and just pull the band through and slip stitch and then you go ahead and tuck these bands in I don't have the clearest way of explaining how to attach these wings, but kind of just find um, the spot where you want to put them and then slip stitch them on and then tuck the bands into the body. That's the way that makes sense to me. So So those are the first two. Now you're gonna go down about to probably right here and you're just going to do the next two and just slip stitch them on again and then tuck the band into the body. All right, so it doesn't look perfect, but that is why I told you guys to keep the bands out. So you're gonna grab two more bands, and then you can just go ahead and put the way the rest of the bands. Um, and you just want to basically wrap one of them around the wings. So just put it around both of the wings, and then you're going to take it and then kind of go over it and do it again. Just like that and then you can kind of play with the wings and it'll sort of look how you want it to that's what i did so you're gonna do it again on the other side just wrap it around both of the wings and then kind of go over it again like that just like that that's also kind of how you get it to have the back it's kind of and stuff like that but go ahead play with it until you like how the wings look and then i'll show you how to add the eyes and then we're done so i like how mine looks go ahead grab your safety eyes and now i just place them about two stitches apart from each other so you're going to place them I placed mine like right here, and then you see one, two, and then you place the other one, just like that. And that is pretty much it for your butterfly. These are so easy to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I will try to remember to put the band count in the description. I think I've already said that. And yeah, I think these look so cute, and you can do so many different color combinations. I think. I was trying to say that earlier, but it came out wrong. So, or color combinations, I think. Um, but you can do so many different like colors of them, and I think they're also cute. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm working on making more designs. Um, I just have a hard time coming up with some sometimes. Um, and I finally have some more time to start filming longer tutorials and whatnot. So um, yeah, let me know what you want me to make next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!